guys welcome back to the vlog if you are new here my name is april i'm a nurse practitioner and i have been an np for the past two years i've been working in primary care for a year and a half and just recently got into aesthetics i feel like my camera's dirty so this week i am working tuesday through friday in primary care and then on saturday i am doing some more training for um my aesthetics job so this will be my third day of training which I feel like the second the first day didn't really count because I literally just like watched somebody do a bunch of things and I didn't do anything myself but anyway it is Wednesday night I just got home from work it's probably about seven o'clock it looks like it is like pitch black outside we're getting a storm right now I got some packages that I wanted to open first one is from Amazon and I know I ordered something from Amazon recently oh yes i ordered this supplement that i'm really excited to try it's called um true niagen and the way that it works is it actually boosts your body's ability to make nad so i'm really excited to try it i've been really getting into my supplement game recently which i'm usually not a huge supplement person but i have been doing a lot of research on supplements and this is one i wanted to try out for um, 30 days and see how it is because i'm obviously into anti-aging so it's called true niagen i just got it on amazon i'm actually gonna take the first one right now you just take one capsule a day oh take one capsule one to three times daily as needed or as recommended by a healthcare professional um i'm a healthcare professional i'm gonna take it once a day Twice a day, vitamins are not for me. So I'm excited to try that. I also got a little package from Set Active. If you guys have watched my previous videos, you know I am obsessed with Set Active. I actually ordered a sweat set from them a couple of weeks ago um, when they did like their basics drop and they forgot to include the sweatpants in the drop. So I had to email them and ask for the sweatpants and i just got those they're just this black i don't know if i knew that they were joggers but whatever um black joggers i get them in a size extra small these are their i feel like they're their lightweight sweats i just i love set active everything that they do i i buy like i'm addicted to shopping them <laughs> and then the last thing is from I think uh, Abercrombie. I placed a big Abercrombie haul over Labor, over Labor Day weekend, and I just got one of these packages separately, and the rest is coming a little bit later. So I'm excited for that, but Abercrombie stuff is so good right now. It's always so good, but like super good right now. Just got this blue like tie sweater. I thought this would be so cute for a florida fall because we don't really get a lot of fall weather and i really like this color and i think it looks nice on me so that is all i got I'm trying to think about what to make for dinner my husband said that he is good for dinner because he ate like a a big lunch and he has leftovers from the lunch that he packed so i don't know what i'm gonna make myself but we will see for dinner tonight i am making like a very weird meal i actually need to change this i'm making ramen noodles with vegetables and air fried tofu i know it sounds weird but it's good i just put it all together this probably took me a total of 20 minutes it's so easy you just put a bunch of vegetables in it you got a protein you got a carb it's like a really quick and easy dinner i just wish i had some mushrooms we just wrapped up dinner took the dogs for a walk Watching Pretty Little Liars, Seth is gonna do with the dishes. So I think I'm gonna take a shower really quick. It's already 9.23. So the evenings go by so fast when you work until 7 p.m. No. Nizir has a keen eye for the popcorn. He loves it. He said, Dad, can you at least hand it to me? Nope. <laughs> what no. do you think I am, a dog? You gotta work for it. Sit. Do, do some tricks. Sit. Okay. So smart. Down. So smarty. Stan. Come on, Stan. <laughs> the owl. He said, I know. He knows all of them. So I know what we're doing next. Have him do a twirl. Ready? Twirl. Other Ready? Way. Twirl. No. 
No. <laughs> Dan. We got another one. Stand. I'm sure you act like he doesn't know them. Stan. Toro. Good job. Whoa. Oh no, oh, Camper's gonna get it. We're done. Okay, it's snack time, huh? <laughs> We're getting snack time. Good morning, you guys. Happy Thursday. Just making my matcha this morning. I'm very tired. My when my alarm goes off in the morning, I keep thinking like, oh, I don't have to get up at <laughs> this time, and I do. <laughs> We started watching the Hope Solo documentary last night on Netflix. It was super interesting. And I didn't go to bed. But I went to bed like maybe 15 minutes later than I normally do. So not bad at all. It has been so rainy here in Florida the last couple of days. It has been like overcast. It gets dark at like 7 o'clock because of so much rain. It's kind of crazy. Just using to make my matcha these cups that we got from Crate and Barrel this weekend. They are so freaking cute. They have like kind of a pink hue to them, but if they're in, it's only in, if they're in a certain light, and otherwise they just look um, white. And I really like the design on them. I'm still in my blueberry matcha era. I really wanted to make like a cherry vanilla syrup, but I think it's the end of like I think cherry season is over and I couldn't find any cherries at the grocery store this past weekend. How pretty and purple that is. I think one of my favorite things about matcha is how aesthetically pleasing it is. It tastes great too, but it's just so pretty. Okay, headed to work. I'm about to take my Copa home. I feel like I'm taking so many supplements right now, which is not like me to be honest. I am not a huge supplement person. Like, I believe in supplementation, don't get me wrong, but I personally don't typically take a lot of supplementation, but I'm taking a lot right now. So I'm taking just a regular multivitamin um, that has like CoQ10, um, vitamin D in it, some DHA, some EPAs, and then like just like regular multivitamin stuff. And then I'm also taking a blue niagen supplement, which I talked to you guys about. I just got it there, got it um, in a package yesterday, which um, kind of boosts like your NAD production. And then I'm also taking Copacalm for my anxiety. I feel like my... I think it's just a shadow but it looks like when I turn my head this way that I have like heavily contoured my face um, but anyway so I'm taking all of those feeling good this is only my second day of taking the blue niagen but I'm excited to see how I do with it headed to work today is I think I have a busy morning and then kind of like a chill afternoon so we'll see typically I feel like I always say this but when there is not like my schedule is not completely full which isn't very often um, but typically when that happens they'll fill me up with like urgent cares or televisits or things like that which is is fine honestly I would rather have like a busy day than a slow day because the time will just tick tick by so slowly if it's slow so we are just running there I do I have to I have a patient who's getting labs drawn this morning at 8 15 that I was filling out some FMLA paperwork for and there were some questions on there that I was like what the heck and so I, I need to review those with her so I'm trying to make it there by her lab appointment but the princess is gonna have her hang out for a second after it's drawn just so I can talk to her morning clinic is over I finished a little bit early so I actually just grabbed a latte because I'm feeling particularly tired today if I'm being honest and this is usually how my third day of the work week like when I'm working my primary care job which is like I'm working I think I already told you guys I'm working Tuesday through Friday 
primary care Saturday aesthetics this week. So today is my third day of working primary care and it's just like, I get tired. <laughs> um, I've been reaching for coffee more than I have been in the past several months, but that's really just because it's not giving me like an, a food aversion that it was previously. I really, I don't know if I'm gonna finish this whole thing because I feel like I, I genuinely feel like I shouldn't have it. Uh, cause I did have a matcha this morning. I drank the whole matcha and I just don't like to have a ton of caffeine in my day just for like my anxiety levels and just like overall wellness. Like I I'm not against caffeine at all, but like a healthy amount. So I'm going to go in and get in. I did legs yesterday at home. I did a little leg workout because I had to, anyway, whatever I'm rambling, but I think today is going to be chest and triceps, which is my favorite day of the week. And I think we're going to do a little bit of cardio before the session, like maybe like a little running, um, which will be good to kind of like get my energy up as well. So let's go work out. I am using my EHP Labs Oxy Shred. I always use this stuff before workout. It is my pre-workout. Today I'm using the peach candy rings flavor, but I also love the raspberry kisses flavor, the peach mango flavor, sour peach candy or sour peach, something like that is really the same as this. I always use the non-stim one so it doesn't have any caffeine in it. Um, I live by the stuff like I literally don't work out without it. So I'm going to take that and then I sip it like throughout my workout. So let's go to the gym. Hello? Oh, hi, sweetie. Oh my goodness, where's Sinkaroo? Do we lose power? Yeah. Our alarm system is beeping. For some reason, we have lost power. It's like 8.30. Yeah, it's literally 8.30 at night. We've lost power in our entire neighborhood and the neighborhood beside us. We were just taking a walk and all of the streetlights went off. Uh, I'm hoping they can get it back on so I can like shower and wind down. But for right now, we've got literally all the candles lit in the house. You want me to hold on to start with this? Oh no, you're fine. I'm just making tea. Do you want any? Okay. An emotionally consistent life. Within her family, my half sister Teresa is from my father's previous marriage. And he left that family. When he it is Friday today. I am just home for lunch because I have done all my workouts for the week. Now it's time for me to rest. It is almost one o'clock and I. I see patients from 8.30 to my last patient is scheduled typically around 11.45 and then I see patients from 2 to 6. I have a new patient scheduled this evening for 6 p.m. which I hate doing. Anyway, I digress. Um, just got a package in from Crate and Barrel. I have the big version of this. I'm excited. I think I'm going to decorate for fall this weekend if I get a chance to. And I have the big pumpkin version of this on my couch and I wanted the little version to go with it. <laughs> Look how cute this is. I'll show you guys the big one with it and everything, but so cute. There's the couch. <laughs> Those are so cute together. I'm not hungry for lunch right now, but I need to eat something for lunch because I just had a bar for breakfast. So. I wanted to make like that chickpea tuna recipe that I showed you guys, but I don't have any chickpeas. So unfortunately I cannot make that. I'm gonna put on a little bit of Pretty Little Liars. Pretty Little Liars, I think I'm on season five. It's getting very spooky, which is perfect for this time of year, but a little spooky. So I'm gonna put that on. And then we'll figure out what I'm gonna make for lunch. I might have something that I can eat for leftovers too. I just need to check the fridge. Okay, I just ended up eating some leftovers and I'm headed I'm headed back to work now. This morning was really busy. This afternoon is gonna be I think even busier. We only have one MA for two providers and I think we don't have a front desk. Like I think both like an MA and a front desk called in today. So it's just been super busy and obviously you know life happens but that does get the flow of the the clinic behind but it's fine we'll we'll survive and i'll see you guys after work just excited to be done with work for the week it has been the longest day i'm so tired 
hopefully you can hear me. I have the water going. I'm about to take a shower and go to bed. Good morning, you guys. Happy Saturday. I'm headed to work for aesthetics. I just picked up a grande pumpkin cream cold brew with extra ice and we gotta get going. All right, you guys, I just finished up one patient. I did cheeks. I did a little bit like right here, chin filler. Um, she looked amazing. Like the more I do it, the more I'm like, oh, this is really good. Like this is fun. And my injector is like, I really feel like you have like a natural talent for this, which makes you feel really good. So my husband just came by and I did some trapezius Botox on him. And now I'm headed to a South Tampa location to do another model. So basically how it works is they give people discounts to come in and uh, basically be a model for me. So like half off, something like that until I'm fully trained. And then obviously we'll go back to normal. But anyway, it was so fun. I feel like I feel yeah, you can never be, I'm, you can never be overly confident. I feel like with anything, whether you're practicing medicine, whether you're doing injectables, like you should never be overconfident, but I feel, I feel good about my skills um, being the second day that I'm injecting. So I'm happy. It's really fun. Like I, it's, I freaking love it, especially doing filler because when you get filler done, you see the results immediately. Whereas with Botox, you're not going to see the results for a couple of weeks. So I still love Botox, but filler is definitely more fun. Um, I do cannula work. I do regular like just needle work basically based on the patient's anatomy and what I think is appropriate. So I'm just having so much fun. So I'm heading to South Tampa now to do a male model, which will be my first male model. I'm excited for that. but. Yeah, I love it.